Okay, you gotta have passion. Passion covers over a multitude of weaknesses and sins. Some of you, you are, uh, you're, you're self-aware enough to know that you're not the best leader in the world. Well, then just be passionate and people won't really notice. <laughs> right? It's just true. I remember I, when I did my first wedding, I got there and I hadn't ever done a wedding as a pastor before. So I got there and, and I realized, oh my gosh, there's 40 people in this wedding party looking to me for leadership. The mother-in-law, you know, the mothers are there and they know exactly what they want and they're disagreeing, they're fighting. Uh, the fathers, of course, don't care. They just want the moms to be happy. The daughter's looking to mom for, what do we do? Everyone wants to know some order of service and where, I don't even know where the groom stands. I don't know anything. Like this is like, this is my life. Most 21 year old guys don't pay attention to where the bride, most 21 year old guys have never held a baby until they hold their own, right? Like you don't just walk around and, oh, and hold your baby. And they, like people at church, like, like they'll give it to like a woman. Oh, let me see your baby. It's like, yes, of course you're a woman. Like some 21 year old guy, hey, you got a baby? I can hold your baby. It's like, what are you talking about? Get away from my baby. So guys don't tend to pay attention. So I got to the thing and all these people are looking to me and I'm like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what the order of service is. I don't know when they do their vows. So I just started talking really loud. Hey mother, you stand over here. You stand here. And the louder I talk, the more everyone's like, okay, I guess that's what happens. It's just be loud. Like this might be a really bad example, but if you've ever heard of Jim Jones, Jim Jones killed... Jim Jones was a cult leader who got 900 people to kill themselves in Guyana, to drink a certain juice, and they all killed themselves on the same day, 900 people. Um, you can almost guarantee Jim Jones wasn't like, you know, hey, everyone, just come together. No, no, we're going to get the, we're gonna get the juice. You know, we're going to put their shoes on. And we'll... Okay, everybody, we're good? Okay, you're going to be there? You're going to be there? You're going to be there? Yeah, I'll be there. He probably was a pretty charismatic, passionate person. It's like, I'll die for passion. People will storm the gates of hell with you when they know that you take a bullet for this thing, right? But if you're just mailing it in and do it for a nine to five and doing it for a job, no one will follow that. You have to, uh, Martin Luther King Jr. used to talk about the idea you have to have absolute identity with your cause and then people will follow you. So there's a story told about David Hume uh, and George Whitfield. I don't, I'm not 100% sure it's true, but it's a beautiful story, it might be true. Um, George Whitfield, of course, was this amazing dynamic preacher, and David Hume was this skeptic. He, he was one of the great philosophers of, of the time, and he had written against miracles and written all these philosophical reasons why he doesn't believe in God. And um, George Whitfield was in a field preaching somewhere, and you know thousands of people were coming to Jesus, and so, uh, they saw David Hume walking down the road, and they called out of the window, where are you going? And he said, I'm going to watch George Whitfield preach. And they said, why? You don't believe anything that he says. And David Hume says, yeah, but he does. Right? This guy believes what he's saying. So I wanna go, like people will come from miles around to watch a person burn, right? You light yourself on fire every week, people will show up to see what's going on. And why would people want to come into a kingdom of a bunch of solemn-faced, bored people? Like, if you really believe Jesus changed your life, you should be jacked up. Like, this room, everyone says, ah, God didn't kill you last night. Ah, this is crazy. Like, you're here today by the grace of God. We should all just be just perpetually, ah, excited. I made it to lunch. Ah! This is insane. Ah! You should be passionate, not the boringest person at the party, which tends to be what happens with Christians. And yet we follow a guy who is always lighting it up at the parties. Right? It's like, no more wine, 900 more bottles. That's what the math is in the Greek. 900. What's happening? All right, let's continue on. Uh, we're getting in trouble. The Baptists are like, no, it's not. 
No, it's not. The Greek said grapes. Um, so I remember uh, walking by this, this poster one time, um, and it was for like this beer, it had this like big glass of beer, and it said, I would rather die of thirst than drink from the cup of mediocrity. That's leadership. I would rather not do it than do it average, right? That's leadership. You gotta have a passion for what you're doing to the point where people can see that you'll sacrifice for it. 